what what advice would you give to you know that next generation and and when they're looking for these jobs how do they get their foot in the door um you know how do they pre prepare for an interview all of those things where it's like being on both sides now where you know early in my career obviously i didn't hire anyone so it's like you just have your perspective and now it's like well i'm going through it and looking through all these resumes what would i tell people who who want to catch my attention yeah I'll answer this in two ways. Um, for people that are looking to get into the industry, I hire less so on experience and more personality types. And the reason that's the case for social media, especially in companies, is because that person is going to be expected to do more than social media by default. And that's not because someone wants to dump a bunch of responsibilities on a social media manager's plate. It's because a company doesn't necessarily know what it entails to be a social media manager. And those people are highly dynamic. We are really good at multitasking. We are really good at relating to those within an organization. I think social media people have characteristics that make us um, smarter and able to relate to everyone in an organization. So I think when I hire people, yes, skills and experience is great and a portfolio is great. And most people have standard comparable, you know, portfolios or resumes to look at. But I'm looking at, are you competitive? Do you want to hustle? Do you want to help your coworkers be better? Like I'm looking for personality types. And that's the big reason why it's just because we're expected to do a lot. In terms of standing out or advice, I'd say, to people that are getting into the industry or who just want to maybe try it and see what they think is say yes to opportunities. Take on some contract work for a short time and see what you think. I've always said, sometimes you have to figure out what you do not like to do to know what you like. And it's a trial by fire situation, not ideal, but before you commit and go through an interview process and take on a full-time job, tell me if you like it try it you know every small business in your hometown is looking to do social media they can't do it themselves and they need support so i still to this day freelance contract for local companies that i care about i don't have the time to do it but i do think it's valuable because it teaches me so much um, so that's a great way to get experience that's you know low risk uh, that gives you, you know, talking points in an interview or gives you more credibility when you apply so at a high level, that's that's what I, I look for when I hire. Um, but of course, everywhere is different. In sports, typically you need some kind of knowledge or understanding of sports. Um, I will say now to your point earlier, the industry is looking to hire outside of sports. So I do think it's beneficial not to just be so uh, myopic in the sports space, but um, having an understanding of the company that you're entering. If you like, you know, you're going to a food company, you should probably understand cooking and recipes to some degree. If you're going to a gaming uh, company or you're going to an esports team, make sure that you know the game intimately, like you've played it, you've tried it. So that's just some very like surface level recommendations that I'd make, but hopefully that helps people who are looking to industry. Yeah, I mean, it, that that's, it's so like you're, whoever you're going to work for is trying to create this world of, you know, whatever it might be. And, and so, like you said, like if it's food based and you understand cooking, you understand recipes, you understand, you know, wine tasting, things that are adjacent to that industry, it, it's only going to help in the long run. Absolutely. Yeah. And who knows, like you might get into to an industry that you know nothing about, a sport that you know nothing about, and you become a true fan of it. That's what you're going to have to become because it is going to be every business day for multiple hours a day. So you better like what you're doing because it's going to pretty much dominate your life. <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely. Well, so going back to one thing you said about when you're looking for those personalities and, and like trying to identify people who have those characteristics that you're looking for, how can, how can someone who is submitting, you know, two pieces of paper, your cover letter and your resume, how can they show you that they have the personality that you're you're looking for. Yeah, I think anytime you can add some kind of color context on your resume or in your portfolio, personal details, I think are fantastic. I want to work with people I like. I also want to work with people who are skilled. Uh, so me getting to know you as a person will help me understand you as a professional. I also am a big fan of putting personality test traits on your resume. So 
um, strengths finder, for example, um, that's a great one to include. And it tells me a little bit quickly about who you are, what your uh, personality type is. And I can kind of surmise some things based on what I'm hiring for. So that's one thing that I do quickly. Um, I also think having a strong headline to your resume, is just a quick like elevator pitch to two sentences or less of the characteristics that you have, uh, that you consider yourself um are helpful too just because i i don't always get to read every single word down to the letter of every resume um but i will always read the headline and i will always always read the cover letters those that's really where like the meaningful things come to life so again when you're hiring and when you're applying for places it's very daunting you might be one of hundreds of applicants but finding ways to stand out in a creative space like social media is kind of table stakes at this point. Um, I've seen a lot of creative ways people apply for jobs, whether that be creating separate Instagram accounts that are their resume, whether that be a little website, whether that be a mocked up idea for a brand that you want to work for. I think you have to go the extra mile to stand out because someone else is also probably doing the same at the very same time. So that's what I would say.